Welcome back to another lesson on the chain rule of differentiation. In this lesson, we'll find derivatives of composite functions involving trigonometric functions. Below on the right, I've included several derivative formulas which include the chain rule. On the left, we have our notes for applying the chain rule, where if y of x is a composite function in the form of f of g of x, we will let u equal g of x the inner function, which will allow us to write y as a function of u as y equals f of u in this case and therefore the derivative of y of x with respect to x applying the chain rule is equal to f prime of u times u prime, where f prime of u is equal to the derivative of the outer function f evaluated the inner function u and then times u prime, which is a derivative of the inner function. Looking at our first example, we have h of x equals three cosine of two x cubed. Whether we use the derivative formula below for cosine u or recognize the inner function is two x cubed, we begin by letting u equal two x cubed. Next, we find u prime, which is equal to du dx. u prime is equal to six x squared. Notice now we can write h as a function of u as h of u equals three cosine u. This indicates h prime of x, applying the chain rule, is equal to h prime of u times u prime, or h prime of u is equal to the derivative of three cosine u with respect to u, which is three times negative sine u, and then we have times u prime. And now we're done with the calculus. We simply replace u with two x cubed and u prime with six x squared. Performing the substitution, we have h prime of x equals negative three sine of two x cubed times six x squared. Let's go ahead and simplify here by multiplying negative three and six x squared and write the derivative as h prime of x equals negative 18 x squared sine of two x cubed. Next, we have g of x equals nine secant of the quantity four x plus five. Again, whether we use the derivative formula for secant u below or recognize the inner function is four x plus five, we begin with u equals four x plus five. And now let's find u prime. u prime equals four. We can now write g as a function of u as g of u equals nine secant u. And now applying the chain rule to find g prime of x we have g prime of x equals g prime of u times u prime, where g prime of u is equal to nine secant u tangent u, and then we have times u prime. And again, now we're done with the calculus. We found the derivative. We just need to write it back in terms of x. We replace u with four x plus five, and u prime with four, which gives us g prime of x equals nine times secant of the quantity four x plus five, times tangent of the quantity four x plus five times four. Let's go ahead and multiply nine and four, and write the final derivative as g prime of x equals 36 secant of the quantity four x plus five times tangent of the quantity four x plus five. Let's take a look at two more examples. Next, we have h of x equals five cosine cubed of x. We need to be careful here. This means we have three factors of cosine x. Let's write this as five times the cube of cosine x. In this form, Notice the inner function is the trig function cosine x. This is our u. So if u is equal to cosine x, then u prime is equal to negative sine x. We can now write h as a function of u as h of u equals five u cubed. This indicates that h prime of x is equal to h prime of u times u prime, where h prime of u is equal to 15 u squared and then times u prime. And now we substitute u and u prime which gives us h prime of x equals 15 times the square of cosine x times negative sine x. Let's simplify this one more time and write this as h prime of x equals negative 15 cosine squared x times sine x. For the last example, we have f of x equals two cosecant of the quantity two x to the fifth plus three x. The inner function u is two x to the fifth plus three x. This indicates that u prime is 10 x to the fourth plus three. Now we could write f as a function of u as f of u equals two cosecant u. Applying the chain rule to find f prime of x, f prime of x equals f prime of u times u prime, where f prime of u is equal to two times negative cosecant u cotangent u, and then again we have times u prime. And now we perform substitutions for u and u prime. This gives us f prime of x equals two times negative cosecant of the quantity two x to the fifth plus three x times cotangent of the quantity two x to the fifth plus three x times the quantity 10 x to the fourth plus three. Let's simplify this one last time. 
Let's write this as f prime of x equals negative two times the quantity 10x to the fourth plus three times cosecant of the quantity 2x to the fifth plus 3x times cotangent of the quantity 2x to the fifth plus 3x. I hope you found this helpful.